there. My name is Justin Rock. I am graduating from Penn State in December. I have spent the last three years as a play-by-play -play broadcaster for the Bourne Braves, the Cape Cod Baseball League, and the Brevard County Manatees, the advanced day affiliate for the Milwaukee Brewers in the Florida State League. Not here to talk about baseball today. Talk a little bit about football in my hometown team, the New York Jets. Grew up a big Jets fan, and I have to say at this point in my life, Watching the Jets on Sunday is, is kind of like a homework assignment for school and the fact that you really don't want to do it, but you know you have to, and it has been a painful assignment to have for the last several years, and it's become so painful, even the coaching staff, Rex Ryan, find $100,000 for throwing expletives around after the Jets win, win against Pittsburgh uh, last Sunday. I guess you can't really blame them when your quarterbacks are Geno Smith and Michael Vick, and you're 2-8. and eight in the AFC East. Not a very good sign, but the Jets' big issue, their general manager, John Idzik, came over from Seattle, says he's going to build the Jets through the draft. He has 12 draft picks this past May, and what does he do? He drafts these 12 guys. However, there's a slight problem. Only one of them plays as we enter week 11 of the NFL season. How is that possible? One of 12. You can't do that in any other profession and get away with it. Jason Morrow, who drops a ton of passes, is the only player that gets any playing time. They benched their first-round pick with a 2-8 and record, safety Calvin Pryor. Don't know how that's possible. They cut wide receiver Jalen Saunders just because he muffed a punt on Monday Night Football. Well, you figure if you can't get it done through the draft, you might try free agency, a ton of cap space. However, they don't try and do that. They have a big quarterback issue. They don't sign any quarterbacks. There's Dominique rogers Cromartie, Antonio Cromartie, Darrell Rivas available, all three very solid quarterbacks. If they don't sign any of them right now, the Jets' best quarterback that's healthy, a guy named Marcus Williams, and no, he's not the point guard from UConn that went to the Final Four back in the mid-2000s. A big issue for the New York Jets, and, well, I guess you can't be too surprised when there's a video on YouTube called the Jets' Big Draft Blunders, and there's a video of Mel Kuyper saying, I don't think the Jets really know what the draft is about. I guess that holds true still today in 2014. Once again, my name is Justin Rock. You can follow me on Twitter at Justin, R-O-C-K-E, or you can watch my videos on YouTube at youtube.com backslash Justin Rock.